Before you create a takeoff, you have to have a license. If you look in your bottom right corner of your screen and you see no license, then you have to activate the license. So go ahead and click on File and check Authorization. Here is where you will cut and paste the activation code that is listed on the Walters and Wolf private blog and paste it in this area. Then you would click Activate and then close this window. Once you do that activation, when you look at the bottom right corner of your screen, you should now see a TKO. Now you can begin doing your takeoff. The best practice is to first check your scale before taking anything off. To check your scale, use the magnifying glass to see what the scale is on your current drawing. Once you see what the scale is, simply change the scale on the drop-down menu to match. You will need to check the scale on every page since many times this will vary. And you can do this scale setup for the entire set of drawings at once or you can just set it up per page as you do your takeoff. To set a scale on a sheet that has no scale specified, you will have to make a custom scale. We will use the same view as an example. Try to find a known dimension on this sheet. We will use this 4 foot dimension. Go ahead and click on the Edit drop down menu and select Calculate Scale. Here you'll need to type in the known dimension of 4 foot. You must enter the feet and inches in 4 digits. In this example, 4 feet is 0400. Once you hit Enter, go ahead and click onto the drawing where your known dimension is and then click again where that 4 foot dimension ends. If you need to adjust your dimension, simply use the grip box to adjust it to make it more accurate as needed. You will see the calculation appear in the dialog box. You have the option to apply the scale to all the pages in your drawing set by clicking this box, or if it's just for this page, simply click OK. The custom scale is now shown and it is set for this entire sheet. The custom scale is now an option, but only for this particular sheet. It must be set up per sheet. Be careful because once you change your scale, your takeoffs automatically adjust. So take the time to set your scales properly per sheet. As you see in this second page, that custom scale is not an option. The most important thing, set your scales correctly for each sheet.